What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another What to Buy on eBay video. We've got everything from graded to ungraded, some trading cards, some vintage collections, some vintage Kenner, and some comic books. And as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters. They get my videos 24 hours early access. Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader is where you can go to sign up. Let's go ahead and dig into some really awesome items. I think I put together a really good list across a wide range of budgets. And hopefully you'll agree with me after you take a look at some of these items. Uh, the first one is a 1977 Star Wars card. Top Star Wars card graded PSA 9. It's entitled Luke's Uncle Buys 3PO. And it's a pretty great card. It's got that transaction droid there. The Jawa talking to uh, Uncle Owen. Uh, it's got Luke C-3PO on there, and even peeking behind Uncle Owen, you can see R5-D4 on there. So this is a really great card. It's got kind of a lot of cool characters on it. Right now, it's listed for $73.89 plus $3 shipping. And, you know, I've got some videos coming up here lately where I'm purging my watch list, and I'm showing you some items that I had watched that sold, and, uh, you know, a, a number of early trading cards kind of sold in this price range. Now, one caveat, this has the older case style. This is not the brand new case style from PSA. Uh, anything that has this kind of background on it where it says a division of collector's universe and it has the NASDAQ a stock symbol on there, uh, you know, th that's the older case style. They've since updated that to have like a, you know, uh, square digital code so you can look up the grade on it. So uh, this is an older case style, but the label looks to be in good shape. The biggest complaint with these older case styles is that the PSA label starts to wrinkle over time. And I've seen a number of examples of that on items listed on eBay. But this label looks pretty good. It looks clean. The case looks clean. So I think it's okay. I just wanted to at least point out that it is an older case style. Next up, I've got an item at auction, but I think the price, the starting price on it is dead on the money. And that's an AFA 80 plus Death Star droid, brand new case style. And the starting list price is $125 free shipping. So for an 80 plus Death Star droid, loose graded, that's, that's a pretty good price. It looks pretty nice in the case there. And there's five watchers on it. It ends in, as of the making of this video in four days and three hours. If you can get it for pretty close to that 125 maybe 135 price range, I think I'd pay that all day long for an 80 plus. I, I was tempted to get it just to add it to my AFA 85 because actually this one looks to be in better shape than my AFA 85 example. So... A uh, pretty good deal on that one, so hopefully one of you all are able to pick that one up for a good price. Uh, next up, this is a steal of a deal. This is Star Wars M Episode One: The Phantom Men Menace, issue number three in a CGC 9.8. This is the photo variant cover that shows Darth Maul on the cover. It's his first cover appearance, and I believe it's his, also his first full comic book appearance. And it's $99 plus $12 shipping. There's four watchers on it already. And uh, this just got listed. I think that's a great deal. This used to be $150 to $200 all day long. Now it's going for $100 bucks plus shipping. I think that's a really good buy. And it's just kind of, I'm not saying it's going to appreciate in value that much, but, you know, it's just a nice collector item for Star Wars fans. And if you like Darth Maul, this is a great cover that's a very reasonable price now, given that the comic book market has declined a little bit. Next up, I've got a Canadian card. This is the Empire Strikes Back card number 62 from 1980. It's a PSA 9, and this is the OPC card back, OPC, as you can see on the label there. And you can see it's got the multiple languages, R2-D2 peeking, R2 peeking through. And it's kind of during uh, Luke's adventure onto the swamp lands of Dagobah. And if you remember in the Empire Strikes Back, he kind of peeks through the hut's window there, Job, uh, uh, not Job, uh, Yoda's hut, and uh, so it's a multiple language card, and on the back it also has the French language. So it's kind of cool to get a, a foreign card variation in a PSA 9, and the population report, there's only three of them in a PSA 9. There's none higher, so there are no PSA 10s for this card. So to get a one of three card is a good deal, and it, right now it's listed for $89, but I can tell you this has been on for a little while, and I received an offer from this seller for $69 plus $5.30 shipping, and I, I just think that's a good buy, you know, I, I really do, and this is also the brand new case style, uh, you can see up there, it's got that little digital code that you can scan to check it out, but this is what the new PSA labels look like, it's got a barcode as well as that, I don't know what that's called, but you know, one of those kind of four square type of uh, digital codes on the back. So that's what you want to look for if you're looking for only brand new PSA case styles. So 
I don't know. If you can get it for 69 bucks plus $5 shipping, a foreign Canadian card, multiple languages, PSA 9, yes, please. That's a good buy. Uh, next up, I've got a vintage collection item, VC44 Luke Degaba landing, and uh, this is unpunched, although it does have a little bit of kind of a weird thing going on on that hanger tab there, so keep that in mind. Light edge wear all the way around, but it's listed for $124 free shipping, and it's also the light blue saber variation, which we've covered in past videos and how difficult it is to find that. If I was a buyer right now, I think I'd buy this. This is probably like an overall 85. It just has some very light edge wear on the back, on the bottom there. Uh, but this this saber variation is much more difficult to find, and I think that's a really good buy at $125, $124 free shipping. Next up, I've got a UKG 85% loose graded power droid and this is listed for 134 uh, 99 pounds or about 158 us dollars plus shipping even the shipping to the us is very reasonable it's only 14 dollars and 72 cents shipping uh you know the case style looks really nice and to get a nice high grade hong kong power droid for that price is a really good buy in my mind uh, next up, I've got the, the High Republic issue number 15. This is the first full appearance of the Leveler, who's like an alien kind of enemy that sucks the life force out of the Jedi in this, you know, in this comic series. Uh, it's like a minor key. Uh, this seller has two of them available for 50 bucks plus $11.99 shipping. That's not much more than grading costs. And once you factor in shipping and everything and the actual cost of the book, pressing and cleaning the book... Uh, to get it for 50 bucks plus $12 shipping is a great buy. There's five watchers on it right now, and there's two available. So if you're looking for kind of key, secondary key issues for the High Republic universe, uh, this is also an homage cover to issue number one from volume one, and uh, a great cover with Skier, Avar Chris, and Keith Trennis on the cover. So uh, again, it's a secondary key, but for you know $62, that's a pretty low-risk book. And uh, I think if the, the High Republic is popular, that book could do well long term. Next up, I've got the end of the Star Warriors, PSA 9. It shows all of the main heroes in the carbon freezing chamber. And uh, you can see Leia there, Chewbacca, Han getting ready to get frozen in carbonite, Lando, some stormtroopers, Darth Vader's there, Chewbacca. It, it's got some Bespin guards in the background. A great card. PSA 9, and it's, he's got, uh, he had two available. One of them did sell for $60 plus $6 shipping. It's also make an offer, so maybe you can get it for 50 bucks. And then likewise, I've got a kind of nice corresponding card that would go really well with this one, and that's this one. It's called Deadly Device. Very similar uh, art style to that one. It's got some Ugnaughts in this one with just Lando. Uh, so it's a little bit different of a card there, but it would pair nicely with that other card. This one's listed for $54.99 plus $585 shipping, and this one also is a make an offer situation. And again, it's a PSA 9. So Deadly Device and End of the Star Warriors. The, the, those two cards would, would pair really nicely together, and you can probably pick them up together for about $100. bucks. they are different sellers, so just keep that in mind. But, uh, but both of those sellers are very frequent PSA card sellers on eBay, so I've, I, I would trust them both. Uh, and as always, make sure you vet all of these sellers if there's something you're interested in. Uh, here is a VC34 Django Fett. This one is unpunched for $136 free shipping. It's got three watchers on it right now. The card's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. It's, it's in pretty good shape overall. Very light edge wear on the, on the back of the card there, as you can see, uh, especially at the upper left-hand corner on the back. But, uh, but $136 free shipping, that's a pretty good buy in my mind for an unpunched Django Fett. Next up, this is a great buy. This is a graded Collector Archive Services 95 plus uh, Russian bootleg Bosque. So this is based on the Power of the Force 2 line. I've covered this at length in my on my channel. I have this exact item in my collection. Same case style and everything. Mine's graded CAS 90. This is a 95 plus grade, and you know they take forever to grade these, so you get it already graded. It's right now. It's a it's a uh, an auction. It's starting at one hundred and sixty five dollars plus sixteen dollars shipping. There's ten watchers on this. This is going to sell. Mark my words. This will definitely sell. There's five days and seven hours left. It ends on Saturday. But if you can already get it graded, and especially in a ninety five plus grade, that's got to be the highest graded item, uh, highest graded example uh, on CAS's database. It has to be. For a 95 plus, it very it came very close to an overall 99 score. So if you can get it for 165 or thereabouts, maybe a little higher, I would buy that all day long uh, just to have a really cool 1990s, late 2000s, you know, early 2000s 
Russian bootleg Bosque based on the Power of the Force 2 mold in hot pink. That outfit is fantastic. I want to wear that to a work meeting sometime. It looks just awesome. So 95 plus grade. I would, I would grab that all day long. Uh, next up, I've got an unpunched Mace Windu US card. Pretty good shape overall, just light edge wear. It's only 50 bucks free shipping. $50 for that, and I, I think that is a fantastic buy. It's Again, it's not perfect. It does have some very, very light edge wear. But think about how far Mace Windu has fallen in terms of price. I mean, this price is like 25% of, of what it used to be. I mean, it was used to be close to $200. So ever since they reissued it, uh, just like everything else, they always the, the, the original issue always falls down in price. And for 50 bucks free shipping, that is a fantastic buy. Uh, next up, I've got a UKG 85% No COO Princess Leia Battle Poncho. Brand new case style. That one's listed for 147 US dollars or about 125 pounds plus shipping. That's That's got the brand new case style. It looks fantastic and very, very high grade. Uh, 85%, 85, 90, 85 are the sub scores on that. So I think that's a buy all day long. Uh, next up, I've got another book that I'm not necessarily sure it's ever going to appreciate in value, but this book used to be 150 bucks, and this is kind of a cool cover appearance with Darth Vader, the Grand Inquisitor, as well as some other Inquisitorious uh, on the cover, uh, and it's a CGC 9.8, Darth Vader number 7. It kind of dives into Vader's relationship during the purge of the Jedi with the Inquisitorious. $58 plus $16 shipping. I think that's a good buy. Again, you're just buying the artwork on this one. I'm not saying it's going to go up in value, but if they ever do something more with the Inquisitorious, this book will certainly shoot back up again in price. But I just love the cover. I just think it's an awesome cover. And uh, uh, it's just kind of a nice collector item. Uh, next up, I've got a PSA 10 Gem Mint Star Wars Living Set Tusken Raider. And this is listed for $40 plus $4 shipping. You know, it costs 30 bucks to grade this card unless you send in a big bulk order where you can get the $15 to $18 per, per card deal. Uh, so if you're going to send in like 10 cards to get graded, it's 30 bucks a card. This is $44 shipped for a PSA 10 Gem Mint Tuscan Raider. That is a great buy. Um, I've, I've almost pulled the trigger on this one several times, but I don't have any money. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire it out there for you guys. Hopefully one of you guys can pick that up because I think that's a great card. Uh, next up is another book. Again, I'm not sure it's going to do anything, but if you watch Star Wars Visions on Disney+, Plus, the, I think it's the first episode. Star Wars Visions number one is what this ba is based on. Do yourself a favor. If you haven't watched Star Wars Visions episode number one, go watch it. It is an awesome, awesome Japanese animated style uh, kind of uh, alternate reality, uh, ancient feudal Japan style Star Wars, and it is just so cool. It's one of the coolest kind of shorts I've ever seen, uh, you know, car animated cartoon shorts. I loved it. It was absolutely awesome, and I would love to buy this book. Now, this is listed for $95. There's 10 watchers on it already, and it just came out uh, December 2022. It's what it's listed, but it's really kind of October time frame. Uh, the dates on the CGC labels are a little bit off versus what the actual release dates were, but this is an awesome cover. And I can't tell you how awesome that episode was. Uh, and it would be really cool to add this to my collection at some point. But I just wanted to point that book out. And it's got a number of watchers I expect it to sell. Um, maybe you wait for a little while and you get it closer to $60 or $70. But I, I just love this cover. I, I think that it's worth having in your collection. And definitely go check it out if you haven't watched it yet. Next up, I'm going to start digging in now to some expensive items, okay? So, you know, we're, we're digging into the high-priced items. This is a 32-back Leia with just light yellowing, unpunched card, and it's got the kind of uh, standing-in-the-hallway photo uh, and, you know, the alternate kind of photo. And, you know, it's really nice and crisp and clean. It probably would grade a yellowed 80, it would be my guess. Right now, it's listed for 550 pounds or about 647 US dollars plus shipping. There's 16 watchers on it already. It does have a slight crease on the back of the card, as you can see right there. But I, I think it would score a 75 plus or an 80, low 80. And it is, again, slightly yellowed, but that's a great looking item there, a 32 back. You can't find a nice 32 back Leia Bespin for six, 650 bucks very often. And, you know, again, if it's a clear blister without that crease, you can probably get close to a thousand bucks pretty easily. We've documented a number of examples on the channel where uh, they've been high grade like that with clear blisters that have sold for a thousand dollars plus. So I think that's a very fair, fair very fairly priced. Uh, same seller also has this one. This is a UKG 80% 32 back B Hoth Imperial Stormtrooper clear blister unpunched 
Yes, please. That is an amazing item for 824 US dollars or 700 pounds. There's 15 watchers on it, and it's also make an offer. I, I mean, if I had any money whatsoever, I would buy this in a heartbeat. That is a beautiful card and a great buy, in my opinion. Very fairly priced. Next up, I've got a, a UKG, or excuse me, 80, uh, AFA 85% Yoda, and this is the Lily Letty. And this is the order case style, so keep that in mind. But this is the Lily Letty. Uh, this is the Regresso version, and right now it's listed for 500 pounds or about 588 US dollars plus shipping. But to get a high grade, made in Mexico, AFA 85, Lily Letty Yoda for that price, I think that's very fairly priced. I mean, again, you could always send this back in to AFA and they could recase it with the brand new case towel. And it costs like 35 bucks plus shipping, worth every penny to do it. I've got a batch at AFA right now doing that same thing. But uh, I think this is, if I didn't have this already, I have this in a UKG 85%. Uh, but if I had some money and I didn't have it, I would be really tempted. Uh, that's a lot of what ifs, <laughs> a lot of what ifs going on. But I, I do think that that's a really great item and uh, pretty fairly priced in my mind. And keep in mind, it's also make an offer. So there's eight watchers on it, make an offer. Maybe you get it for closer to 500 US dollars, but I think that's a buy. Finally, I'm not saying to buy this, but Matthew C., who's a Patreon supporter and longtime subscriber and good friend, he sent me this. So I wanted to show it on the channel. So shout out to Matthew C. for sending this over. This is an AFA 10.0, a perfect grade clone trooper. And this is on the 30th anniversary collection card back. I, I can't tell you the last time I've seen an uncirculated Gem Mint 10.0 anything for Star Wars action figures. But it got the Gem Mint 10, and it's listed for $5,000 plus $22 shipping. It's not worth anywhere close to that. I bet in an auction it, it would probably sell for less than a thousand. But I wanted to point it out because people have asked me regularly, "Hey, John, do you know of any AFA 100s or AFA 10.0s?" And they don't come up often. But I, I did want to show it to you because there is one out there on eBay right now. And again, I would not pay this price. That price is insanity. But uh, you, you know, it's it's a pretty cool item to look at, and it is possible, I guess, to to get a perfect score action figure with AFA. It just doesn't happen often. Anyway, that's all I really had for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.